So what's up? Today's my first day like home uh, solo. Wife's at work. Deal with this leg. Super fucking sucks. Super inconvenient. The worst part, like the knee doesn't hurt. The straight leg breast sucks. Just fucking having this stiff cock of a leg fucking hanging off is you just annoying. But like, I need to I need a fucking backpack. I, I need I need a backpack that I can fucking put water in. I can put my phone in and shit like that to go other parts of the house. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to the garage. I'm gonna do a little bit of the salt bike stuff. <sighs> Not much. Break sweat. I'm gonna do some stretching and then uh, do some uh, more of the BFR stuff that Kelly has set for me. Easy, easy, easy rehab day. I've already done two rounds of um, regular rehab exercises that the docs gave me. So that's uh, like the heel slide stuff. I'll, I'll just show you. Exhausting to even get it here. I need like a, I need like a, a hodor. So she's doing anything sucks. Such a goddamn fight to even get around. <sighs> Small frustration stuff. Big picture, knee feels good, knee looks good. Moving around well, I'm not on any pain meds. Like I'm functional, plus I've got time to heal, right? So that's, there's a lot of positives. I'm trying to think about those things and not be so mad about how crippled I feel. It's about three minutes, like I showed you guys yesterday in a little bit more detail. Then I'll show you the other exercises I got. Another really basic thing they've got me doing are heel slides, and those are pretty simple. So it's about 50-50 power of my leg versus 50% power of uh, me pulling. And we're gonna squeeze the quad at the bottom. Dang. I am officially one week out of having surgery done. So I got cut last Monday and didn't finish till like 10 or 11 p.m. Now it's Tuesday, so I'm officially a week post-surgery. What does that mean? Um, fucking very little. Things I'm allowed to do different. Uh, so the straight leg brace. When I'm at rest now, I'm allowed to unlock it. Yeah, knee bending. Still can't put any pressure on it. Still can't do a ton of shit. But this is progress, so I'm stoked on that. Um, one week down, right? That's, that's the key. We're one week down. Time's going to keep going on rehab. And that's something I've got to stay focused on as well, is that no matter what, like whether I'm proactive in my rehab or I'm a lazy fuck bum and lay on the couch, right? Time is going to continue to pass either way. So I can either choose to be up on that time or fall back. And I'm doing the best I can to stay focused and stick with the plan. So I am going to lift later today. Hopefully I have some cool shit getting delivered. Got some cool shit delivered, right? Got myself a Christmas gift and something to be stoked on for the time uh, my legs work again. I want to say uh, good job Noble with boxing and all that, like uh, really pro level. Pretty pro level on the box. Slide. Ooh. That's Black Magic Midnight shit, motherfuckers. These are dope. Really pumped on these. They came with extra laces. I really like the front construction. So it has this textured surface. There's no seams. There's nothing to really break. Which I'm sure is a more affordable way to make shoes if you're going to get into the shoe business. But these seem super high quality. I mean, I guess we'll find out. 
there are some of my favorite ones I've ever seen as far as looks go, and that matters to me because I'm not a very good weightlifter. So, gonna give him a ride in like six months. All right, so I got lunch done. I had to go lay in this goddamn thing that'll move my leg for me through uh, passive range of motion. It's been like, it's supposed to be like six fucking hours in this thing a day. Like, who has time for that? As you can see, I just got a bunch of shit in. So I got a shipment of Kratom. Uh, those familiar listening to Joe Rogan, Chris Bell recently went on and talked a lot about it. It's a uh, herb from Indonesia, it's supposed to help with pain or helps with pain. I've been taking it and um, really like it, especially over the opiate option that uh, the doctors want me to use, which I don't fucking want to do. So pretty stoked on that. I'll keep you guys updated with how taken that is. The company I got it from, for anyone else who's dealing with some pain and wants something a little bit more natural to go for it, try it out. The company is uh, Urban Ice Pharmaceuticals. Comes in some different varieties like this Mang Dai, uh, this Green Malay. They're all real Thai sounding names. They're great. Um, I do notice help in the pain and then I notice much more of an up here like a mood enhancer with it. So I feel pretty good. I don't like it on empty stomach, I get a little nauseous. So that's something I got in that's pretty cool. Something else I got in, the GoPro Karma Grip. I think the uh, Karma Drone is probably hot garbage. So no uh, real concerns on using that thing. But I'm gonna fuck with this, see what it looks like. You got a little tester. All in all, pretty good little gimbal. It looks to be pretty rugged. It looks like I can uh, beat the trash out of it. And it's got some good little modes. So far, I'm pretty stoked. I think it should be kind of a cool addition and uh, give me some ability to do some smooth stuff, some smooth follows and stuff like that without being too worried about another gimbal. I like this one feels so much more robust than the Fayou one I'd bought before. Like anything, right? You're gonna have to get better at it to really get the most out of it. So, something new to play with. All right, time to do some rehab. Spend a lot of time on the assault bike and I'm gonna do some floor pressing. Maybe seated floor press and then just a regular floor press. Not terribly exciting, is it? But that's the biz. That's what I gotta do. All right, let's get to it. Never easy. About 10 minutes. Fuck. That stinks. Sorry though. Been laying around like a bag of shit, isn't it? So this is just gonna be some simple floor press. Busting them out. No sets, no reps. Just gonna do a sum for a few sets. Just something to keep moving. So let me be real clear about this. For anyone going through post-injury, post-surgery, rehab sucks. It super sucks. But, comes with the territory. 
if you're gonna train hard for a long time, you're gonna get hurt. There's gonna be injuries, you're gonna have setbacks, you're gonna have big ones and you're gonna have small ones. You can't just keep on the gas pedal all the time. So you're gonna have some times that you need to do this. Treat it as a big deload. Figure out what you need to do in your head to stay right about it. For me, it's, it's staying in control of the things I can do whether I'm hurt or not. One of those is what I put in my mouth and the other is just effort. I can put in a good effort. I can, I can do some work. I can sweat. That's what I can do. I can break a sweat and I can do the exercises that I'm given so that I know I can come back. Look, don't, don't fall into the trap of bullshit about this. I'll come back stronger than I was. The chances are you're not gonna. The realistic, I mean, you're gonna come back. Now you may be able to pass that up, but not like at the end of rehab. At the end of this nine months when I'm finally 100%, like that's not gonna be where I was before I started. That's not how this works. But I may be able to start throwing. I may be able to, you know, be at 80%, which is, which is good. The trick is just having that 80% high enough so you don't lose your shit. <laughs> Keep at it. All right, so that's quick and fun, right? Um, four sets of floor press, 25 reps each. Did uh, four or five sets of dips. First set was like till 25, and then kind of just went till my hand got uncomfortable. Having that kind of pressure on my wrist seems to kind of re-aggravate whatever's up in the hand, so it comes back quick, so we just keep hammering them out. Did some close grip like push-ups, uh, using, using the edge of the bench, and then I got back on the assault bike for another round of five minutes. I'm sweaty, which means I need a shower tonight. Fuck yeah. <sighs> Success, a little bit better today. It's way better than just sitting in the office and cruising gone wild. All right, Ashley's on her way home, stoked on that. We gotta go make a pickup and pick up my other package that had to get delivered to the UPS store. Really stoked on it. It's more camera stuff. I drove a vehicle. My wife was next to it, next to me while I was in it. I can bend my knee, drive a truck, dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. This is one of the packages I've been waiting on for like three fucking days. They've taken forever. So I took advantage of some Cyber Monday sales. New memory card, new lens I don't have yet. It's a uh, 55 to 250 for anyone. It's cheap, cheap lens. Mm. The ADD. It's a really terrible name. It doesn't exactly roll off the old tongue. Whoa. And boom. The ADD looks identical to the 70. All right, new camera works. So that's it, we got a new camera. Jazzed on that. So be something fun to play with, try to figure it out and uh, get the most out of it. Huh, I like the white balance changing there while we're, uh, while we're talking. <sighs> All right, cool beans. So that's it, did some rehab, got some stuff. Taking advantage of Christmas deals. Keep it on, keep it on with the rehab, right? I will see you guys most likely tomorrow. Spread hate, always party.